Hi there, welcome back to my channel on Linux. Today's topic is going to be about LibreOffice Writer. The reason why I'm bringing it up is one of the major hang-ups people have of moving to Linux is the fact that they're not sure if they can still use Microsoft Office documents and revise them in Linux and then be able to send it off to people. Well, I'm here to allay those concerns and show you that it is possible to read Microsoft Office documents and revise them and then send them off. So let's try two different Microsoft formats. The more later, I mean the more current version, which is a DOCX format. This is in the form a, of a resume template. So say I'm a college grad and I need to do a new resume. So my name is me last name and I want to put in my address so I'm gonna put in a fake address because I don't want people to know my real address so I'm going to put in the rest of the information including the city then I am going to put in some fake phone numbers here just to fill out the fields and then a fake email address now I'm going to put in a fake one because I don't want to be spammed I'm going to fill out two more sections here. First one is the career, so I'm going to show users that Linux and Linux apps are easy to use. And I'm going to fill out two skills here. you can tell by scrolling down the resume there's a lot more fields that need to be filled out but I just want to show you the basics so I'm going to save the document I'm going to go to file at the very top if I want to save it under the same name and format I just simply click on save but if I want to rename it which is what I want to do in this case I'm going to click save as change the name to a new name and I want it to retain the same format so I'm just going to click on the save button here at the bottom brings me to a confirm file format dialog box I can either choose the LibreOffice format which is ODF or the Microsoft format so I'm going to click on the Microsoft format button and if I close out of the document by clicking on the X I will find the new document here and I'll just open that for you and you can see I have my new name in the same format and here are all the content changes I put in this new document so that was pretty easy now let's go to the next one um, this one is different than the template it's an older Microsoft format and that's DOC this was a document originally created in Word and I'm going to show you how easy it is to revise it. So if I go to the top of this title, say I want to change that to a different font color, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to change it to red. Now say I want to go ahead and change the style or the font of this particular set of words. I'm going to change it to something that really jumps out at me. I'm going to choose Deja Vu Sans and then um, just for kicks I'm going to make the color a bold blue so it stands out 
Another thing I want to do is show the different styles. So let's change this to bold. And I'm going to change the color again to red so it, that jumps out at me. I'm also going to show something. Let's see. Let, how about this? Let's change that to italic. And I'm going to change that color to green so that jumps out at me. Now I can also do additional things that you normally can do in Word. I can do numbering, bulleting, uh, doing indentation, and I can also do alignment. So let's let's look at alignment. Say I want to realign this. For now you can tell it's aligned left, say I wanted to align centered. There, it's centered now. Okay, there's more things you can do with this. You can go to insert and you can insert a couple more things. You could do hyperlinks, headers, footers, footnotes. Let's try footnotes. So for those of you in the research field, this is very important to you. So I'm going to go at the end of the sentence here and I'm going to insert footnote. And I'm going to keep the default at automatic. I can choose a different character if I want, but I'm going to be my conventional researcher and choose automatic and click on OK. Then it prompts me at the bottom to type in my footnote. I'm going to type in this is a sample footnote. There. And then there's a couple more other things I can do. I can insert pictures, sounds. I can also insert tables, objects. So there's really a lot that I can do with Libra Office Writer. I'm ready to save the document so I'm going to file and then I'm going to save as and I'm going to rename the file. And I can choose many different other documents. There's uh, Open Office Org, which is what a lot of Google people use. And then there's the Word documents and other formats. And the file types are here as well. But I'm just going to leave things as is, like I did last time. And I'm going to click on Save. And then I'm going to once again select the Microsoft Word format. And if I close out of the document, I will find the new document here. And if I open up the new document, and I can see that it retained the DOC format and it also included all the different changes I made to the document, including this alignment at the bottom, which was formerly left aligned and is now centered. And if I hover over the footnote here, I can see there's the content of the footnote, and here's the footnote here. So I'm going to close this document and that's it for now. Um, this was the tutorial on showing you how easy it was to just take Word documents and revise them with LibreOffice. The next thing I'm going to show you in another future uh, segment is using a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet within LibreOffice. Okay? So that's all for now. Stay tuned for next time. Thank you.